February 1st. Has a month gone by already? The Super Bowl is in 11 days. Valentine's Day is in two weeks. In less than a month, we spring forward for daylight savings time. And in less than seven weeks is the first day of spring. I can't wait. So why do I have the word trust behind me? A member called me the other day and asked about something that had occurred in a recent transaction where the listing agent, weeks after a home was sold but before it closed, changed the commission for the buyer's agent. And while we discussed a variety of issues, including arbitration and ethics, the portion of the discussion that continues to stick with me is about trust. Trust is a feeling, and as such, is difficult to describe. And while speakers like Simon Sinek and books like Emotional Intelligence help to explain why emotions are difficult to express, it still is no less difficult. Quotes relating to trust abound. Trust means everything in business. It takes 20 years to build trust and five minutes to ruin it. Or once broken, it will never come back in its original shape. All describe something many, if not all of us, have experienced and which to this day impacts how we interact with others. Why bring this up this week in this video? Not certain I know other than to observe that whether it is how we interact with you, the member, how you interact with your real estate colleagues, or how you approach life, Consider that the consequences are most severe for the person or entity no longer considered trustworthy than anyone else. Market conditions. For the first four weeks in January, reported pending sales declined 12.6% from the same four-week period last year. Inventory is up 22.7% over last year, and the absorption rate so far this month is 18.2%, putting it at the top of what is considered a balanced market. This will likely rise a bit when we get all of the January sales and listing data reported, so stay tuned. Interest rates are expected to drift lower, and as of last week, we're just above 6%, down from 7 less than three months ago. This combination of increased inventory, less competition, and lower rates makes now a great opportunity for buyers to be looking to buy homes and agents reigniting buyer interest in finding a house. Events, programs, and classes. February 2nd is happy hour at X Golf in St. Clair Shores. The 9th is our general membership meeting at the Gross Point Yacht Club. Roundtable is the 10th. February 15th is a first time offered class on marketing. The 16th is morning coffee at Bakehouse 46 in the city of Gross Point. March 2nd is happy hour, the 10th round table, the 16th morning coffee. 321 is both a class from the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, or MISHTA, and the first quarter YPN event at Great Shots in Clinton Township. The 23rd is the Harper Woods Gross Point Chapters Annual Meeting. The 29th, the Macomb County Chapters Annual Meeting. Both meetings will serve breakfast. I want to conclude with a couple of quick comments about the MR Achieve Conference held last week in Grand Rapids. This is always a great event, and not just for those in leadership, but for those who wish to learn more about the real estate industry in general. It offers wide insights and brings together about 600 members from around the state to interact and build that broader sense of community and trust needed to take your business to the next level. By the way, the next opportunity to start or build on those relationships is in April at Broker Summit which, don't let the name fool you, is not for brokers, but for all who are serious about their business. It will be at the Book Cadillac in Detroit, so stay tuned or visit the MR website for more information. So let's stop here for this week, although I'm certain I forgot something. In the meantime, please be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, be safe. Bye.